Dr. Michelle, it's good to see you. It's good to see you as well. well. I have a question for you. What would you do if you had twice as much energy as you currently have? We need to really understand where energy comes from, don't we, of course? And we're going to teach you a few things so we can learn how to actually increase the energy. Where does the cell phone get its energy? Deep inside this cell phone, there are thousands of circuits. It's hidden. It's not even visible. Yet we know it has power. We can see it powered on and powered off and functioning properly. But what about the body? Where does it get its energy? This is what we want to of, right? It all begins in the cell. You can't see the cells, but we're composed of millions and millions of them. And inside these cells is something called the mitochondria. These are the powerhouses of the body, Dr. Michelle. The powerhouses of the body. Yes, we get this energy through the conversion of food. That is why it is so important to eat properly, to eat plenty of vegetables that are rich in minerals plenty of fruits that are high in antioxidants and vitamins, and plenty of healthy fats which help fuel the mitochondria and good quality proteins. These make macronutrients give us energy. So we have to really understand, how does the body get its energy? First of all, there is macronutrients. You saw it on the lead in, all those fruits, those vegetables, the wonderful protein, the oils, those are called macronutrients. Macro meaning large. The body takes the macronutrients and it converts them to micronutrients, smaller particles. That's where we get the vitamins and minerals from the good foods. So the body, Dr. Michelle, actually takes those micronutrients and it infuses them into the powerhouses of our cells called the mitochondria. And we actually get this massive amount of power generated. However, if we eat the standard American diet, or sad as we think, many times the body has no proper macronutrients, therefore it has no proper micronutrients. And the powerhouse, well, it just fizzles and doesn't run properly. The powerhouse will suffer. The mitochondria need good quality proteins, they need good quality fruits and vegetables and healthy fats to make those cells function. Your eye cells, hair cells, liver cells, kidney cells, those metabolically active cells. We want to be able to get up every day and start out at the front of the pack. If we start out behind the pack by eating foods that are inflammatory and have no nutrients, no vegetables, no fruits, no quality fats and proteins, guess what? The mitochondria suffer. They kind of putter along. You want to think you wouldn't put sugar in the gas tank of your engine of your car, would you? So why put it in your human car? Your mitochondria can't make energy that way. So I want twice as much energy? No, actually I want four times or five times as much energy. Let's put in good quality macronutrients and power those cells up the right way. Real life family, I challenge you, let's power up the energy and let's see what we can accomplish for God. 